Hello, good day. In this video, we are going to apply financial modeling to the theory of CAPM. This video starts with an overview of the capital asset pricing model, the security market line and beta. Then, I will show you how you can draw the security market line in a quick and easy way within a few minutes. In addition, you can also calculate the alpha, beta, and R square of a security at the same time in a quick and easy way too. It is hoped that at the end of this video, you can become a well-informed investor who is capable of performing market analysis on your own. You can calculate the information independently based on the sample period of your concern without relying on anyone or any financial database. This skill is highly useful, isn't it? You will also get to understand the basics in the calculation and become more confident in using the data. Financial modeling with Excel truly makes investment analysis easy and convenient. Let's learn together. The Capital Asset Pricing Model, CAPM, is a market equilibrium model that formally links the notions of risk and return. It uses beta, the risk-free rate, and the market return to help investors define the required return on an investment. CAPM mainly is used to determine the price of a single risky asset. The security market line is a visual representation of the CAPM. It is the graphical representation of the expected return and beta relationship. From the figure, you can see that the x-axis represents beta and the y-axis is the expected return. The security market line is a straight line intersecting the vertical axis at the risk-free rate. It is an upward sloping line begins at risk free rate and rise to market expected return when the beta is 1. What is beta? Beta is the measure of systematic risk of a security. It is the tendency of a security's return to respond to swings in the broad market. Beta measures the non diversifiable or market risk. Beta indicates how the price of a security responds to market forces. The more responsive the price of a security is to changes in the market, the higher the security's beta. From the formula, beta is calculated by relating the historical returns for a security to the market return. Beta can be calculated by dividing the covariance between the stock and the market with the variance of the market. The objective of this video is to learn how to calculate beta for stocks. We are going to use an example that consists of two stocks, Sun and Microsoft. The risk-free rate is represented by three-month U.S. Treasury bill rate. The S&P 500 return is used as proxy for market return. The sample data consists of 141 monthly return. The data is available in the Blackboard system. First, we need to calculate the assets return. Assets return is the difference between the actual rate of return of a risky asset and the actual risk-free rate. I'm going to calculate assets return for the sun. I shall type equal sun returns minus US Treasury bill rate. Enter. I'm going to double click to obtain the rest of the answer. Microsoft access return will be equal Microsoft return minus US Treasury bill rate. Enter. Double click and here is the answer. For S&P 500 assets return, it will be equal S&P 500 return minus risk-free rate. Enter. Then I put my cursor here and double click. So we have obtained the assets return for the stocks 
as well as the market. Now I'm going to show you how to calculate beta. I'm going to insert a scatter diagram. Here, select this one. All right, then uh, I point here and right click. Uh, go for select data. All right, add. And here the series X value represent S&P 500 access return. I'm going to press Control shift arrow down. The Y value represent the sun access return. Here, I'm going to press Control shift arrow down to highlight the data. Click OK. Uh, OK again. Now I have this scatter diagram which I regress the sun access return on S&P 500 access return. I'm going to point here, right click and select add trend line. All right, this is a linear line. I'm going to take display equation on chart, display R square value on chart. So you can see that the regression re equation has been generated. Beta of the sun is actually 0 0.9189. You can do the same process to calculate beta for Microsoft. Alternatively, you can use Excel built-in formula to calculate the alpha, beta, and R square. The formula for alpha is equal intercept highlight the value of y, comma, then highlight the value of x. Remember that variable y is the stock access return. Stock access return is a dependent variable, which is influenced by the overall market movement. Variable x is always the market access return. Market access return is an explanatory variable. The formula for beta is equal slope, S-L-O-P-E, and highlight variable Y and variable X accordingly. There is a second way to calculate beta, which is the covariance between the stock and the market, divided by the variance of the market. R square is obtained from the formula equal RSQ, and we shall highlight variable Y the stock access return, and variable X, the S&P 500 access return accordingly. To sum up, we have learned two ways to calculate. The first method is to derive the value from the scatter diagram. The second method is to use Excel function. Both methods will give you the same answer. The finding shows that Microsoft has higher beta of 1.2181. This means Microsoft is more responsive or sensitive to overall market fluctuation as compared to the sun. When the market changes by 1%, Microsoft return will change by 1.2181%. Finally, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please practice the examples given in the Excel spreadsheet as practice makes perfect. I hope to see you again. Bye!